One more person. Gentlemen, who started this whole thing. Our founder, one to have Mr. Paul O'Neill, please. Some of you may know, it's just about three years now since we lost Paul. And on a, on a personal note, I miss him every second of every day. But I was lucky enough to work for the man for over 25 years. Over those years, we talked about a lot of stuff. A lot. But one of the things you bring up over and over again is how time had become his most precious commodity, his most valuable, most treasured. He tells me, he goes, look, if I lose stuff, possessions, I'll buy it back. If I lose money, hopefully, I'll make it back. But if I lose or waste time, that's it. It's gone. There's no negotiating with it. You're never getting that back. About six months ago, we were in our studios, digging through some old sessions, and uh, I'm also really happy to say that we started recording some new TSO stuff. <laughs> So during one of these sessions, I happened to look down at the recording console, and there's a cassette tape sitting there, right? Didn't see it before, don't know where it came from. The thing is that the kids, you know, the interns who work in the studio, they don't know what a cassette is. <laughs> but since I'm extremely old, we're okay. I'm putting in the thing I hit play. And what do you think? It's Paul O'Neill, strumming the acoustic guitar, singing the song I've never heard before. It was almost like he stopped me on the shoulder and said, Hey, little brother, it's okay. Stop concentrating on all of this past. Hang on to this moment you're in right now, because when it's time for that moment to go, that will have gone too. The song is called Hey, Can You Hear Me Now? If you guys don't mind, we'd love to play it for you today. That one moment I'm going to hang on to for the rest of my life. Because as I heard Paul sing the lyrics, Hey, can you hear me now? I could not help but look up to heaven and say, My brother, radical. Yeah. 